So that escalated quickly. So real quick, before we jump in this video, if you think that we should remove the assault weapons language here in the state of California, go ahead and like and subscribe. Also, I want to thank one of the main supporters of the channel, USCCA. USCCA provides legal protection slash carry insurance for patriots like me and you. So if you're interested in picking up some sort of legal protection, I always recommend USCCA and you can find a link down below to USCCA. How's it going, everybody? In this video, I'm going to be covering some unfortunate news that I have to bring you guys. And that has to do with that bill I talked about just earlier, I believe this week or just a few days ago, and that is SB 118. SB 118 pretty much had a copy and paste of the language in AB 88, except for they changed some dating on it. The language in SB 118 added to the definition of an assault weapon here in the state of California to include any firearm that is not a rifle, pistol, or shotgun, commonly referred to it as an other firearm or what most of you are probably familiar with and what you'll probably see on the thumbnail is the Franklin Armory Title I. Many of you are probably familiar with Franklin Armory. I do a lot of videos about Franklin Armory and the Title I on this channel and trying to keep you guys updated on what's going on with especially actions like this by the state of California trying to prohibit us from being able to purchase these types of firearms. The Franklin Armory Title I was essentially a way to circumvent the definition here in the state of California and the definition of specific firearms as an assault weapon. The Franklin Armory Title I pretty much did not fall within the definition or the prior definition of an assault weapon here in the state, so we should have been able to purchase it from Franklin Armory. But the California Department of Justice would not update their drill system, which has led to a bunch of lawsuits. Many of you are probably familiar with videos I put out about the lawsuits. But also, as you can see, the California legislator has tried to amend and now has actually amended the language in the state of California to put the Franklin Armory Title I and other firearms into a category defined as assault weapons. Also, what's included in SB 118 has to do with the change in language and actually timeline in regards to the firearms precursor part vendor requirement. What this bill does and what actually uh, AB 88 also sought to do was to push forward that timeline by two years. So instead of it being July 1st, 2024, it is now going to be July 1st, 2022. So what this means is if you want to purchase a firearms precursor part, you have to go to a licensed vendor or a licensed firearms precursor vendor. So as you can see, SB 118 does not just redefine assault weapons here in the state of California, but it also pushed forward other pieces of legislation and push forward the deadline for firearm precursor part vendors. And I have to be honest with you guys, this was really shocking to me how fast this got pushed through and how fast this got moved. I was not expecting this at all. In my prior video where I covered what was going on with the Franklin Armory Title I and SB 118, what I talked about in there is that we needed to contact our local representatives, let them know that we didn't agree with this, that it might take a while for this to get pushed through. But when you actually look through the bill history in this, they got this pushed through the assembly, they got this pushed through the Senate, and then they ultimately got it on Gavin Newsom's desk and he ultimately signed it all within, I believe, like a three or four days time span. So this went extremely quick. This is probably the fastest the California government has ever operated in their life. Of course, they did it really fast because it had to do with firearms and public safety, allegedly. So this was attached to a public safety bill and they redefine this assault weapon language and they also push forward the firearm precursor deadline all just within a matter of three or four days. So what does this mean for the Franklin Armory Title I? Well, ultimately what this means now that Gavin Newsom has signed it as of 8-6-2020, this bill is now law. It is the standard here in the state of California. So what that means is when you look at the language in SB 118, um, it defines an other firearm or a firearm that is not a rifle, pistol, or shotgun with offending features as an assault weapon. And it sets out specific deadlines for when you could legally be in possession of those. It has to do with prior to September 1st, 2020. And it also says that you have to register these assault weapons by January 1st, 2022. So that is the date changes. And so also this has some impact on the mass action lawsuit by Franklin Armory. As you're familiar in my prior video, what I said is there was an open deadline for the deposit until uh, SB 118 got passed. Well, this got passed, it's signed into law. And so now you can only put a deposit in for Franklin Armory before September 1st, 2020. So that is your deadline to get your deposits in to Franklin Armory. So if you wanna put in a deposit for the Franklin Armory Title I, get in on the mass action lawsuit, get the email from Franklin Armory and join the mass action lawsuit, which is being handled by Michelle and Associates, you can do that by putting a deposit in before September 1st, 2020. 
So if you're interested in doing that, I'll go ahead and put a comment and a link down um, below in the comment section to Franklin Armory so you can put that deposit in. One additional thing I wanted to note with all this is I get a lot of comments almost every day on my videos from people from out of state who talk about, you guys let this happen, you vote these people in, you guys vote for these laws, you need to live with them. And this is a prime example of how California actually operates. None of us voted for this. None of us supported this. None of us even wanted this to happen. And we weren't even given an opportunity to contest this. This was pushed through in a matter of three days. They will do anything they can to push forward gun laws. And that includes pretty much leaving the people and the voices and the individuals they're supposed to be representing completely out of the loop. And that's exactly what happened here in SB 118. SB 118 wasn't even the original form of this language. The original form of the language was in AB 88 and they tried to push that forward through sneakily. We opposed it, it got stopped. Then they went ahead and copy and pasted it over to another bill and pushed it through super fast before we could even really oppose it. So if you're out of state and you're watching this video, this is exactly what we're up against in the state of California. So this is not a video I wanted to have to put out to you guys. This really caught me off guard and I'm sure it's gonna catch a lot of you guys off guard. Um, right now, even when you look at the, if you go to SB 118 and you pull up the history tab, it doesn't even have that Gavin Newsom has signed this in yet. That's how slow they're updating their system or that's how fast they push this through because the California legislative information hasn't even been able to catch up with how fast they've done this. As of right now, it says that the most recent action on it was 8-4 where it was enrolled, presented to the governor at 4 p.m. So essentially what that means is it passed the assembly floor, it passed the Senate, and it was brought to Gavin Newsom's desk for him to sign. And once that happens, we all know what's gonna happen. But actually when I did some further digging, he actually did sign it as of 8-6. You know, he signed multiple bills on August 6th, one of those including SB 118, which was the Committee Budget and Physical uh, Review for the Public Safety, which included that language, redefining assault weapons to include the Franklin Army Title I, other firearms, as well as the firearm precursor language. I'll go ahead and put links to all this stuff down in the details if you wanna take a look at it for yourself. So I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of you know rumblings here pretty soon from Franklin Armory. They're, I'm sure they're gonna be pushing heavily for the mass action lawsuits and the deposits. So go over and support them guys, because if we don't fight against the California a legislator, the California Department of Justice, and let them know that we don't support these type of actions, they will continue to do this stuff. So I can't encourage you guys enough to go over to Franklin Armory, put a deposit down for the Title I, and get into the mass action lawsuit. If there's any more updates as far as SB 118 or anything else relating to the Franklin Armory Title I or Franklin Armory, all these other things that are going on, I will keep you guys updated. Unfortunately, even me, I couldn't keep up with how fast that they did this. If you like this video and you like to support the channel, one of the best ways to do it is to join the Patreon and I'll put a link down below to the Patreon page. Also just like, commenting, and subscribing also really helps the channel and also make sure you hit the notification bell. So as always, thanks you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And never forget, this nation was built by armed scholars and this nation will be maintained by armed scholars.